We're kicking it off in style, guys. This is our first interview of Comic Con this year. Oh, Welcome wow. to cast of Nancy what? Drew. Hi, guys. What? Hey. Um, what? Hey. <laughs> That's the reaction I was looking for. Correct me if I'm wrong, you've had your panel. Mm -hmm. So that's maybe that was maybe the most stressful part. Like you had to kind of face the masses and see sort of how it went over. Yeah. yeah. Exhaling I, now, how are you feeling? Definitely feeling better. I was very nervous for the panel. So that it was, was a full room as well. It was four thousand people. people, four thousand yeah. plus people. Yeah, that's, that's crazy. Well, it's cool. Once you see everyone's like with you, though, I feel like yeah. the nerves kind of go away. But right before you step up, you're like, yeah. yeah. I think they liked it. They liked it. It was, it was cool because you could hear, and, yeah. yeah, hear their yeah. reactions as things happened, and it was like, oh my god. Now, had, and you showed the entire pilot. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Had you seen the pilot? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. so you knew what you had. Yes. 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 Is that the only thing you guys have shot so far of the series? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's kind the of a fresh. unique position mm -hmm. to be in, to be promoting a show that you've only shot the first episode <laughs> for. Yeah. yeah. Um, does it feel like you guys are still kind of like in that stage of like getting to know each other? Like this is still relatively new for you guys. Yes. Yeah, Definitely. before we meet each other. I'd say so, yeah. I mean, how many days did we <laughs> shoot <laughs> in total? How <laughs> many days was it? 11 days. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So but we've bonded pretty quickly. Yeah. yeah. The chemistry between us is quite good, right? Yeah, yeah. very good. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what what yeah. was the, was there a bonding exercise in particular you think that brought you guys all together or is it just the work that? Yeah, we did those trust exercises where you The trust balls? Trust balls. We didn't do any of that. You got a lot of Alex. I mean, we've gone for food and. Yeah, we've done yoga together. Yeah. We've all kind of just naturally fallen in line with each other, I feel like. Like right from the get go, like people start started group hangs and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Leah yeah, and I met foods. in the audition process too. So yeah. And Tim and I met in the audition Day process one. too. So. So let's let's start with with our Nancy here, who's you know this is an iconic character. This, this is a character that's been around for many decades. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. This is like you've done a couple guest spots mm -hmm. on TV. Oh yeah, I'm but this green is green the grass. Yeah, this is a big leap for you. Oh yeah, to be the title character of a show like this. Yeah, not to put the pressure on. No, no, it's okay. It's already there. <laughs> okay, <fine>. okay. <laughs> but does it feel like when you're shooting the pilot and you know you are Nancy Drew? Did it feel like comfortable, exciting, or overwhelming for you? I mean, all of those things at different times. I think um, I, I got really lucky in, in having really supportive people around to be like, hey, you're doing great, and like, are you, you, do you need help? And like, our whole creative team is awesome, and, and our director is, is fantastic, and our whole team was there to, to support me. And right. I think once we started, it was like, okay, I know who this character is because she lives inside me. Yep. And I know who my Nancy is. And that's all I can do. You know, I love Nancy Drew. I love the books. I love the games. It's been with me my whole life. And that character has, you know, I've always had in my head. And now I, I can take that and, and, and all I can do is filter it through sure. this. Yeah. So, you know, I think once we started shooting, it got a lot more comfortable because I was like, I just, I know who she is for me. And, and yeah. I hope that other people respond well too. But it was incredible from my point of view. I don't know about you guys that I'm fairly new to the game actor comes along and just completely nails Smashes it. Smashes it. Oh, absolutely. Nails it. Yeah. She, just em she embodied Nancy Drew. I Born remember in the audition in room two, I remember looking at her and like, not even knowing how she was acting, but just the way that she held herself, being like, that looks like Nancy Drew, for yeah. sure. Mm. Let's, let's talk a little bit about the world that's uh, in the show, like what the vibe is, what the tone is of the show. Like, how would you describe, is it analogous to any current shows out there, any past shows? How would you describe like, what you guys are going for to your own friends and family? What do you got? I think we got a we got a little Scooby Doo. We got a little <laughs> Twin Peaks. These are good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, yeah. yeah. American. Yeah, we got show. a little Veronica Mars. <laughs> yeah. I was gonna say Veronica Mars seems like an actual, yeah. right? Yeah, the sort of narration and, and yes. they're similar in in the way that they hold themselves mm -hmm. and and kind of chat and. But there is a su supernatural. Yeah. Element. A supernatural yeah. Supernatural element, but it's not like the whole. It's not the whole world. There aren't. Goblins and vampires and everything yeah. running around. Yeah. It's like there's this just enough singular thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah it is a good mix of all thing. those things, right? And I think I can't think of any show to compare it to directly, personally. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. hopefully that's a good thing, and we're yeah. something new and fresh, and a good mix of different things. Um, yeah. You, you guys, uh, our companion show, correct me if I'm wrong, to Riverdale mm -hmm. on the network. Mm -hmm. yeah. Does it share any any kind of uh, sensibilities you think with that show? Is it going to make kind of for a good kind of like double feature block for people watching back to back or not? I think it's cool in that we have this, you know, small town group of friends doing things together, juicy romance and mystery and all that. Yes. Um, but 
I think that we we have a lightheartedness. We have uh, a, a real snarky humor. Um, and these are characters that are older. There's no high school drama. These are all characters that are 18 to like 22 and mm-hmm. kind of And it's a subtle out. but different stage yeah. in life, right? Yeah. To kind of figure yeah. yourself out. Yeah. yeah. At the same time, they're much different characters from Riverdale. All of them yeah. have their own specific mysteries where I feel like... Um, I mean, Riverdale has their own mysteries as well, sure. but for us, I feel like it's specifically mysterious. And, and every way. character on the show seems to have a secret, safe to yes, say. Yes, yep. definitely. Do you know your own secrets? Again, you've only shot the pilot. Like, how yep. much do you know about the rest of the season in terms of the overarching mystery and the mysteries within for each of your characters? We've got bits, yeah. haven't we? Yeah, Just we enough. Know, Just I to want to know. Well, I do. Right. I, I want like to know. Some people don't. don't. Yeah. Yeah, I, I never <laughs> want to know, though I do know everything. <laughs> Just <laughs> We yeah. just did the read of episode two, and you've got some secrets that come oh, out in episode two. Yeah. Oh, yeah, big secrets. Yeah. 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 And we find things out, honestly, every day. Like, just talking yeah. to each other, literally just on the Comic-Con panel, I found we found something out yeah. about Horseshoe <laughs> <Yeah. Yeah. laughs> Bay. Oh, and it's, it's cool, though. I, yeah. That's what I love about the mystery about yeah. it. Like, we also are finding things out like crazy all the time. Yeah. Sure. You just need to do more Comic Con panels so that you can actually find out what <laughs> yeah. the cheese. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. What do you think? I mean, this is, again, this is a character that's been around since I think the 30s, right? Yeah. Like, what's the relevance? What's the different kind of relevance you think of Nancy Drew and this show in 2019 versus way back when? What do you think she's going to mean to people today that's different than at the outset? Um, I think for me, she really represents uh, a modern young woman. And this uh, commanding presence and and fiery nature and uh, navigating what it's like to stand up to people that don't believe in you or have faith in you. And and that's sort of this trait that's carried through for forever Mm -hmm. is that Nancy Drew believes that Nancy Drew can do anything because she can. Not to say that she doesn't make mistakes along the way, um, especially in our iteration of it, you know, we're seeing a more complicated and right. a, a, a more complicated version of this character. Right. You know, she doesn't have it all together. Mm. She hasn't figured it all out. She's facing a lot of grief in, in, in losing a parent and navigating new different types of romance as she's growing older and figuring out who she is and relationship with her father and her friends. And so it's, I don't know, it's very modern, lots of modern uh, issues and it's cool to see her grapple with them instead of just have it all together. You guys, it also mm. should be said, have a great um, pedigree behind you, like the creators of this show, right? Yes. You've got yes. Stephen Savage and Josh Schwartz, who collectively have made some of like the most beloved mm-hmm. uh, YA kind of like friendly shows yeah. in the last 20 years. Um, like, did you watch like the OC? Have you been? Wa- have you watched Runaways? Have Gossip you watched any Girl. of their stuff? Gossip, Gossip Girl, baby. Gossip Girl, XOXO, XO, XOXO, <laughs> baby. <laughs> Shout out. That's exciting, though. I remember when I found out um, that they were also creating Nancy Drew. The fact that they did Gossip Girl so well which had so many like juicy rumors and like secrets and I'd say like uptown mysteries Mm -hmm. I kind of had a feeling that this would be just as tightly woven in that area of like mysterious things going on do you feel they're bringing back gossip girls yes Yes. I'm excited (laughs) (laughs) I was shocked but I'm excited (laughs) so what's been the experience so far you did the panel Um, what's like I'm sure you've had friends or you've heard the stories about Comic Con has so far it lived up to sort of like what you expected because it is it's a wholly unique environment you get to San Diego you get to like the main drag and it's like okay I'm in another world passionate people (laughs) I've actually I don't know about you guys I haven't been on the floor yet no we've We've been doing this we've We've been been talking to people and they're kind of doing the panel and that's the best way to first time do Comic Con I suppose uh, but yeah it's going to be exciting to actually get out there and, and see the costumes yeah. and yeah, the creativity the yeah. Yeah. Yes, and it's also like I'm sure it's going to be for you guys like a boost like to get this energy and then you like get to actually shoot the rest of the series you're like yeah. oh wait I've got we had 4,000 people screaming for this Backing show us, yeah. Yeah, we got to now show show them what we got yeah, yeah.